At our last station, we are going to discuss digestion and reproduction in marine mammals. The digestive system of marine mammals is very similar to that of humans. They have a mouth, esophagus, stomach, small and large intestine, colon, and rectum. Most marine mammals, with the exception of sea otters, don't chew their food. Instead, they swallow it whole and it passes through the esophagus to the stomach. In cetaceans, the stomach has a variety of chambers. The anatomy of these chambers is diverse and varies across species. So the number and name of these chambers is different depending on which cetacean you're talking about. However, the main role of these chambers is to serve as a temporary food storage location as well as conduct chemical digestion. Nutrient absorption mainly happens in the small intestine and then waste passes through the large intestine and colon. Male and female marine mammals have reproductive systems similar to terrestrial mammals, including humans, and reproduce sexually. Cetaceans and sirenians complete the entire process of reproduction in the water, but other groups of marine mammals may breed and give birth on land. The gestation period in marine mammals is typically about a year and results in live birth. The time to sexual maturity may vary, but is typically fairly long and may be several years. All marine mammals are born either in or very near the ocean habitat. Cetaceans and sirenians are born with the ability to swim. However, animals born on land must be taught to swim by their parents. All marine mammals exhibit some form of parental care, which distinguishes them from other types of animals, although male parental care remains rare. Young cetaceans are often referred to as calves, young pinnipeds and sea otters are referred to as pups, and juvenile polar bears are called cubs. All marine mothers feed their young through lactation. Milk is an energy-rich substance that allows their offspring to grow quickly and provides immune system benefits. Most marine mammal offspring feed on milk for a long period of time. For example, in sea otters, the young feed on their mother's milk for 6 to 12 months after being born. In addition to feeding, the mother is also often responsible for teaching her young how to swim and hunt for food. On your handout, label the marine mammal digestive organs and describe their role in digestion. You will also have a few questions to answer regarding marine mammal reproduction to finish out this lab.